Well, hello there. We finally have a clearing over here in northeastern Ohio. Now, I better hurry up, but that crescent over there is uh, the planet Venus. Let me try to get a clip of that real quick. I'll be right back. Wow, it's been ages since I last got uh, Venus. It's normally blocked by houses or trees or something. And it's about to go behind a tree right now. So I'm glad we got out when we did. It's so nice to see that bright shining star up there. And now that Jupiter and uh, both Venus are in the same night sky for me, Venus is shining brighter, <laughs> as it should. Now from here, let's try to head over to Saturn. It's off to the left and higher up. All right, there we have the settings for Saturn, so we know where we're at. We're overexposed, so I'm going to have to change that. Try it at that. Okay. So that tiny dot there is Saturn at 1600 millimeters. And there we go with that awesome ring planet there of Saturn. So incredible to see. Now it's really cold out here, so <laughs> I think it's going to get down to 26 degrees Fahrenheit yet again which I believe is a uh, minus three Celsius, so I'm not staying out very long. So from here, we're gonna head on over to Jupiter. Now at those same settings we have, Jupiter is way overexposed. So, but I do want it exposed even worse. <laughs> So we can see some of the moon planets around there. I'm not sure, but I think there's one right on the very edge of uh, the left side of Jupiter. I didn't look on the Sky Safari Pro app to see who was where, but anyway, let's uh, get the planet it, itself in. And there we go. I moved it down to 1 60th shutter and the ISO is at 800. Let me get a clip here. It's not coming in the greatest out here, but I can see a band around there. A few bands. Looks a bit fuzzy though. But hopefully the uh, stacking process of taking those short video clips and stacking them in the PIP auto stacker and Registax will get a decent or better image. Well, I'm so glad we were able to get uh, Venus before it dropped down into the trees. It was so nice to see her again. Anyway, like I mentioned, it's really cold out here, so <laughs> in I go. I was really hoping to try for Orion and Orion's Nebula and Sirius tonight, but it won't be until about like 1.30 to 2.30 in the morning, so uh, it'll be frigid cold out, so I don't know if I'll be back out for them or not. I might have to wait for another day. <laughs> but the way our weather's been lately and our sky conditions, my goodness. I'm lucky to see anything at all. Anyway, I hope wherever you are, everything's going all right for you, and you have a great new weekend ahead. See y'all take care. It is now 7.21 p.m. up here in northeastern Ohio. Good night, all. <laughs> oh, that was sweet to get it. Mm-mm-mm.